forgive the shiny, but this is the other new Planeswalker. Much more expensive. Six mana total, four and two red. It's Chandra. Chandra tends to get kind of a shaft deal when it comes to these. Um, but this one kind of has some nasty abilities. Um, her plus one, she comes in with four loyalty tokens, which you could kill her in one shot if you absolutely wanted to for her nuke ability. Um, I'll get into why in a minute. Uh, her plus one is put two, three, one red elemental creature tokens with haste onto the battlefield. Haste means you can go pop pop. Exile them at the beginning of your next end step. So, them having haste means they're great sacrifice fodder, because they're going to be gone anyway, and tokens auto exile. Um, also, they make excellent little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, basically soldiers where you can just throw them at people and attack. So, either way, and like you can't build an army obviously, but quite useful. She has a zero ability. Interesting. I think this is the, I don't know if this is the first zero ability she had. I'd have to like go back through the other cards. But the fact she's a zero one is kind of interesting. Say you have a shitty hand. Discard all the cards in your hand and then draw that many cards plus one. So if you have no hand, you just draw a card. Um, if you have a bad hand of like two cards, you get three. So you have a better chance of getting things. Not a bad ability. Very useful, actually. Um, so I wouldn't say she's worth six mana at this point. And her nuke doesn't really change my mind on that. She could have been like maybe five or four mana. Negative X. Her nuke is pretty much pay whatever you want. So you don't even have to pay all of her life into it if you don't want to, if you want to keep her alive. Uh, Chandra Flamecaller deals X damage to each creature. So if you've been using the elemental ability every turn, building her up, and people haven't really been attacking her, you can pretty much wipe the field if you so desired. Because um, Shroud doesn't protect against this, nor does Hexproof, because it's not targeting something. It's pretty much all the things. She, she's a walking field wipe. Uh, of course, the disadvantage with field wipes is <laughs> you get hit too, so you have to be careful with that. Um, but again, not a bad card. This is probably one of her better cards um, utility-wise, especially with the, you know, refresh your hand plus one, um, because, you know, at the very least you get to draw a card if you have nothing in your hand, and it doesn't cost anything, which is really nice. And getting the two red elemental tokens is quite useful. Also, the art is really interesting. I don't know if this is the official art, because again, spoiler slash promo. There's like bismuth all over there. That That's what that stone is called, bismuth. And it actually does grow like that in real life. So that is a really interesting touch. I don't know if it means anything or if Zendikar is just made of bismuth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but still, really nice touch. I like that. So... I'd say a medium road card, useful if you have a deck that's built either around card draw, card discard, or around throwing red tokens at people. So, probably one of her better cards. Catch you later.